Nidhi and today I've got my friend Kashish Sharma here with us today. She is from D.Y. Patil Medical College, Navi Mumbai. So today she's going to tell us everything about her college. Uh, so Kashish, how was your first year in D.Y. Patil? Also tell us what exactly happened on the very first day you entered college. Okay, so my first day in dy it was it was a surreal feeling okay it was walking into the campus being a medico and then entering the lecture hall you know i knew i'm transitioning into a new phase of my life you know it was so new meeting new people meeting the teachers for the first time and then you know talking even i met a few seniors that day it was it was a good wholesome day i would say you know after sitting at home for 6 months and then finally getting into the college life it was a huge thing for me it was amazing and talking about the college uh, the whole year it was nice it went in a jiffy it started and then it got over so quickly it was nice it was you know some days were really good some were okay some were not that great but i think i have learned a lot of new things obviously and i've not only just grown academically but i've also grown personally i feel like i have um, you know grown into a person a more mature version of myself over the past year so kashish tell us something about your college well dy patel has three campuses one is in navi mumbai which i am in the other one is in pune and the third one is in kolhapur So my campus is situated in Neroli, Navi Mumbai. That is, yeah. So uh, and about my, we have a capacity of two fifty. That's our batch strength. And yeah, that's the pretty much overview of my college. Um, give us some information about the fee structure at D Y Patel. Also tell us about the cutoff. Yeah, the fee structure it is twenty six lakhs per year. um it is the same for the batch that was before us and it's the same for the batch that has recently joined and yeah and the fees remains constant uh, for every year and for nri people i think it is around 41 or 42 lakhs and they also have increment every year and about the cut off so cut off at our times i think it was around 300 and this year it has slightly gone higher so i don't exactly know how much higher but yeah Or that it's gone a bit. Tell us about the foundation course. Foundation course. <laughs> well, foundation course was uh, divided like over the year. So basically, it's a course to introduce you to the seriousness of this course, and also you know you should also focus on yourself. Uh, they tell you you know to meditate, to sleep properly, and all those things. They teach Marathi. We had classes. so for the people who come from other states so that they understand and have a better communication with patients so that was the thing and then a monk had come in and he was telling us to do yoga we even did yoga for a whole week and to keep up with our fitness obviously and uh, what else uh, yeah and there were like people giving us inspirational talks and yeah. that was the whole idea and then we had a logbook where we had to write down everything what we did for the foundation course and then we submitted at the end of the year so uh, how are the professors at dy patel um professors we have uh, very experienced professors they are really good they know their subjects really really well they always help us whenever we have doubts we can always go up to them they solve all our doubts they they cater to you know every need we can also just go and talk to them if we have any issue and our professors are also our mentors like 10 people are allocated like one teacher so they uh, they know how much we have scored and then we have this mentor mentee meeting that happens every now and then over the course of the year and yeah they are really good they are experienced and yeah we have like really good teachers they are friendly some of them are strict <laughs> Yeah, but overall, I'm really happy with the kind of teachers and professors here. So, how is the peer group in DY Patel? How are your peer friends? Group. Yeah, my friends. <laughs> they they are really good people. You know, 
my peer group i met some of them on the first day and i'm still friends with them which is a huge thing <laughs> if you know you know <laughs> so yeah they are like really good people i'm surrounded with and uh, they help me i help them out we respect each other there's a we have fun together and we go out together so yeah overall i like them i can count on them and they're really nice people Um, tell us about the various clubs in your college i have heard there are many yes so basically <laughs> we have something for everybody so you should one shouldn't be left out so the clubs that we have so we from adventure certified start so we have a trekking club we have a club that goes cycling every sunday and then we're coming up to the artistic side we have dance we have drama we have um, dance drama and singing choir that happens and then we have all these debate quizzes and uh, uh, post and then we have the scientific society so the people who are interested in research can join it and then follow up on the updates put up on the group and yeah so these are uh, all the groups that i can think of right now and then we also have certain committees which uh, you know they host such drives so you can go for or there was this ors drive that was done very recently so we distributed ors packets to people uh, to the kids in a uh, uh, pediatric ward and uh, initially like when i had first joined so i was part of this one this was uh, uh, distributing sanitary napkins to the women in red light area it was also an eye opener because i feel i had the privilege to go out expose myself to people from all walks of life so i think i have understood uh, you know and valued people more around me and we also have a ngo so even they hosts like drives to ngos and even the hospital charity wing and this is like that yeah tell us about the various events that take place in your college okay the events it's a huge list of events that happen throughout the year so we had uh, uh, we have our annual magazine launch that is iris then we had a, a fest a fest a flea market kind of a thing that was more like a small carnival which was called festember because it happened in september <laughs> and uh, we had prom we had we had garba night we had traditional day then we had teachers day yeah and then we had this one more event ted which was a pan university event so people from some people were from medicine some people were from engineering some were from pharmacy so we came together and then we hosted this event so it was people from all walks of life they had come together expressed to what they have done and how they have come so far in their life so we had a chef who came in we had a we had an ips officer who had come in and then there was this one business tycoon who had come i think from deloitte or some company and then they spoke about how things happen how they gave us a different perspective into different lives and how they are work you know inspires that you know we need all people in our life or people from all walks of our lives to make it a whole complete one so that was there and yeah we had pro then um, yeah so events like this happened throughout the year and this year we have aura our official cultural fest is back so that has all those academic workshops and concerts and all those things do do come visit us <laughs> So uh, how is the campus and how is the infrastructure of TY Patel The campus is beautiful it is so breezy you walk in it gives you warm vibes you know the buildings are yellowish in color so you you feel warm when you are there inside it's a huge campus you can just walk around it's just 
way more beyond than just the feels of a hospital you feel like you are a college student and uh, you have a light environment overall the infrastructure is great we have ac equipped classrooms our uh, library is very pretty and uh, at yeah, the canteens and everything it's, it's good place so uh, how is the hospital and how is the patient flow in the hospital yeah. so our hospital we have a private wing and a charitable wing so we have a 1500 bed hospital for the charity wing there's like 300 uh, icu rooms and 15 operation theaters there the patient flow is really good um, actually i did not visit the hospital that much because it's on the other side but for whatever i have seen when i come in and go out it's uh, the patients i i do see people sitting till like outside of this thing and okay wait i'll reframe this the hospital we have a private wing and a charitable wing um, and there are like 1500 beds for charitable wing and 300 bed icu and uh, 15 operation theaters and i think that's almost similar for private wing as well and then patient flow patient flow is really good there's like a lot of people opds are like never like empty there are people at any given point of time yeah and so is the case with trauma i see people sitting outside yeah so uh, what can you tell us about the hostels and the mess facilities over there okay first a disclaimer i am a localite but i'll try to answer this <laughs> Okay so the girls hostel is in the campus but it's like half a minute away from the college building the boys hostel is in the college building itself and uh, there's a new hostel that has recently come up that's in the excellence building that is management building so yeah and uh, for the hostel you can always choose the room you want you can have single occupancy as well if the room is available and yeah i think maximum goes up to 3 people sharing a room and the mess facility the girls have a dedicated mess what are the fees 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 hostel fees hostel fees okay so it dep- it varies on which kind of you uh, you know room you are looking for so i think the room we have now is approximately it goes see everything included is i think around 2 lakhs if you include everything uh, a more medium size of a room and i think for between shared between two people it around 2 lakhs a year including the food and everything so yeah and for boys hostel we have a canteen in our building itself it's uh, yeah it's like more of like a cafe so guys i think you really use that and then there's a doctors cafe in the hospital and one more cafeteria inside a small one so yeah and there are like other canteens of other uh, courses as well so you can always go there and It's not just two, three. We have quite a few. So, uh, as a parting note, do you have any message for your juniors? For my juniors, well, um, you know, manage your time well, you know, and uh, study. You cannot escape studying. You have to do it. <laughs> um, do it and study. Have fun. Make great friends. They're always there to help you guys out. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just enjoy. Just enjoy the whole, you know, vibes of being in a medical college. Thank you so much. <laughs> I really, really hope you found this video helpful. In case you have any doubts regarding this college or with respect to anything else, you can always mention them in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful. Please hit the like button and do share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.